Hi, and welcome back to Purple Color Life. In today's video, it's all about old school versus new tech. So we're gonna compare the MS290, my original chainsaw from steel, the old farm boss, with the brand new MS261C, the newest technology in professional grade chainsaws. So in today's video, we're gonna cut through this big oak. We actually did a test in the past about the green chain versus the yellow chain on this MS290 20 inch bar cutting through this exact piece of oak. It's still here for our chainsaw test today. We're gonna to do two different tests. We're gonna run the 20 inch bar and chain through this oak with both chainsaws. And then we're gonna to switch to an 18 inch bar and chain and go through this oak with both chainsaws. What's your guess? So here's a little bit of a, the differences between these two. The 261 is a professional grade chainsaw, brand new 61C. It automatically calibrates the carburetor as needed for temperatures and fuel mix ratios. Um, so that is the new technology and the newest saws. This though, I mean, this is the, the old reliable. This is the MS290. I've had this for over 20 years now. It was a great buy back then and people still love them today. This chainsaw is, so let's do a little stats comparison. The old MS290 Farm Boss, the size of the engine is 56 cc's. It is 3.8 horsepower, 13 pounds, and a 20 inch maximum bar. The 261C, 50.2 cc's. So this was 56, this is 50.2. But even with, they always say there's no replacement for displacement. This has a larger displacement. This has the higher horsepower. This is four horsepower. This is only 3.8 horsepower. This only weighs 10.8 pounds. This weighs 13 pounds. So that's kind of how technology has moved. You can make things a little bit smaller with more horsepower and lighter weight, but this is always gonna have the greater displacement. So right. let's do the test here, 20 inch. I know which one's gonna win. Which one? This one. You think? Well, I'm Jennifer, positive. Jennifer guesses the 290. Because this one doesn't have a bar on it. <laughs> Oh, dad jokes. <laughs> dad jokes from mom. You can see that the size of this oak, the 20 inch bar, because you're only going to be able to go into the teeth, still won't make it the whole way through. So I'll have to cut through, jump across to the other side, and then cut through the other side. Each test will be one cut, one cookie. Okay, first, the MS290. Ready? Ready. Wait till it starts cutting, okay? Okay, first test cut. 5332. 5332. 261. Ready? <laughs>
5193. I feel like that one's a little skinnier. The thickness shouldn't matter. 5193, so just a little bit faster than our first cut with the MS290. How did it feel? Like it was going faster or the same? Faster. Faster? <laughs> So that one I started a second path, 102. So my cut from the other side of the log wasn't perfect. Operator error. Operator error. <laughs> This is one of the big differences between my old saw and my new one. These are easy to lose. The 261 has captive nuts. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay, we've made the switch to the 18 inch bar, brand new chain on the MS290 first to see if cutting a little bit less of the wood than 20 inches at a time makes it actually cut faster. Ready? Was it? Hey, so you know how when you do an experiment and it's not in like a really controlled lab? Yeah. There was some human error on this one. What? Because you faked me out. I <laughs> thought you were starting. So it says 4671, but it's probably more about 48. Okay. Okay. That's acceptable. Okay. I wanted to be honest about my human error. So sorry about that. 4671. You think it should be more like 48? Yeah. Okay, so we came into the test. You thought the MS290 would be faster. <laughs> the actual times were really close. I think the MS261, definitely I could tell the difference in the lightweight, 
and it felt like it had more horsepower. It did cut a little tiny bit faster than the MS290, but not a ton. I felt like it bogged down a little bit less with the 20 inch bar than the MS290 did. I came into the test thinking that the MS290 would probably be a little bit stronger, not bogged down as much, just because of the greater displacement level. But at the same time, I knew the MS261 had the higher horsepower. I was hoping it would cut faster. It did cut faster, but I also feel like it did not bog down with a 20 inch bar as much as the MS290 did. You agree? Sure, yeah. <laughs> so either saw I think are great saws. It's a really, it was a really interesting test to do the old school, original, uh, over 50cc home farm boss versus the professional over 50cc steel chainsaw of today. If you found this video informative and entertaining, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Leave those comments about which saws you thought which of the two saws you thought were going to win before we went into the test, and then what you thought about the results. Obviously, you said there was some operator error both on the part of the chainsaw operator and the timer. When I feel like the you didn't say anything about the shorter, the shorter oh, bar. Oh, yeah, good point. So I came into the test thinking that with the 18-inch bar, we would actually be cutting faster than with the 20-inch bar. We did. Because I knew the 20-inch would bog down cutting through more than 20 inches of oak in either of these saws. Probably to cut at speed with a 20 inch bar, you'd want like a 400 saw or a 460 saw. And, and like I suspected, the 18 inch, just because you're cutting through less at a time, did make the overall cut through the tree faster. And seemed smoother. And it seemed smoother. Now the other part that I do though, when you're doing an 18 inch cut, you can see my lines didn't always line up perfectly straight on my second cut here from the other side after I jumped over the log. But so thanks for watching. Yeah. This isn't my favorite part about cutting wood, though. No, what's your favorite part? Uh, the end result. Going burning back, it. <laughs> going back to the house where it's burning. Earlier off camera, Jennifer said that she really liked that Mike Morgan was able to shoot his video today inside by the wood burner. And here we're outside in the cold cutting up the trees. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. Do a little kicking of that with your foot. <laughs>